What is up guys, Thaddeus here. Welcome to another business video on the business channel. Today we're gonna be talking about just things that I think every beginner, I mean anyone in dropshipping should know, but particular or novices or newbies or just people new to dropshipping, right? And so that's what we're gonna talk about. I mean, th that's what we're gonna talk about, okay? So just a bunch of quick, quick little tips and stuff that I hope that you didn't know before that, that hopefully provide value and help change the game in dropshipping for you guys, which is what I'm here to do and make you guys, you know, like ha have your dropshipping stores just, just above everyone else's. And again, dropshipping is like the easiest industry to get into. So if you can beat out everyone else, then that puts you above everyone else, which usually gives you a larger market Market share and gets you more money in the end okay so that's what the video is gonna be on today first thing I want to do is give a quick shout out to um, well actually everyone here oh let me change the camera uh, literally everyone in our private uh, course group okay literally everyone's getting their first sales I would show all the screenshots but whatnot but like even you know this guy at 2k um, just everyone like literally everyone's posting their first sales like when they get them and it's freaking crazy bro so that's the the little shout out guys course discount the uh, sh the Black Friday Cyber Monday discount is available for the next two days three days I don't know uh, something like that but it expires soon it's like 65% off if you guys want to hop in if you don't that's cool too, do you. I'm just trying to help. That's the video guys, let's get started, all right. So the first tip I wanna give you guys is you gotta be active on social media, at least with, with the funnel that I preach, okay? You need to have a presence on some type of social media. And for me personally, it's Instagram, all right? Like, as you can tell, I mean, I got the new shades, bro. I mean, not new shades, but the, the trendy basic as fuck shades. Basically guys, I like fashion, right? So I jumped into, fa a lot of my sites were based around selling fashion products, right? And when you're doing that, you gotta find a social like platform, a social media platform that that allows you to you know capitalize on whatever you're selling. Okay, and Instagram is such a visual platform that that's what I teach and help people with is building a funnel to get traffic on Instagram, drive them to your site, convert them on your site. Okay, while also building up your brand um, on your Instagram accounts to help you know drive future organic sales okay and that that's that's the funnel that you guys want or at least that I teach and that that works right because it's just rinse and repeat I've done that for every single one of my stores when you're doing that guys you got to have a presence on social media a lot of you guys start up a drop shipping site and you want to go straight to like paid ads or something like that which you absolutely can do but if you're just starting out and you don't know how to work ads you don't know how to work paid ads or you know like define your custom audience first of all you probably don't even know who your audience is like you can you can have an idea but you won't really know until you see who's actually buying product right if you like you, you can only guess until you actually have number like Numbers speak, guys. You can't just guess who's gonna be interested in your product. For example, if I'm selling a ring or something, uh, like a men's ring, yeah, okay, I can say, okay, maybe men at between ages of you know 18 and 32 might buy this ring, so I'm gonna market it like that. And you can't do that, guys. Like, yeah, you'll 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 get some sort of attention, you'll get some sort of exposure or traction with those types of ads, but you don't really know the exact specifics of who the exact person, the exact demographic, the exact location, and like the the amount of like spending power they have, and all that all that information that's needed to actually capitalize and like lower your conversion costs so you can you know literally print money down the road but again if you're doing that like you need to be able to understand who your your, your buyer profile is your, or your customer profile is right and to be able to do that I drive traffic from Instagram while I have you know my Facebook pixel on my site running so I can later down the road create audiences specific to the people that already purchased and then scale up with that okay if that kind of makes sense uh, for a lot of you new people or new to dropshipping people what that essentially means is hey I buy shout outs on Instagram from big pages, I drive them to my website with my Facebook pixel on my website, and then later down the road, I scale. Okay, that, that, that's, that's layman's terms for that, okay? Now, tip, tip number two, okay? Have custom photos. A lot of people don't do this, and I've been preaching this for a while now. If you're if you're familiar with the channel, but literally, guys, that, that I mean, what does that mean, right? It means you need to order product to your house or wherever you live, okay? And you need to get product get get pictures of that product taken okay whether that be you with a camera you make friends who are photographers you know photographer friends or you hire someone to take professional photos of your products okay because again drop shipping is the easiest industry to get into you can have twenty dollars thirty dollars and could be considered an entrepreneur just by starting a Shopify website, right? So literally, it's so easy to get into that everyone does it and when they import products, right, from AliExpress or wherever you're doing it, most people use the supplier the supplier images, okay? And a lot of times, they're, they're not good, okay? They're pixelated, they're, they're cheesy, they're crappy. It's just not good for marketing and for making a website. Don't get me wrong, on your website, it's okay to have pictures with white backgrounds. You often want that for most cases. And then I usually follow that up with, you know, lifestyle photos. Because again, dropshipping or anything in business really, especially on 
Instagram, guys. You're selling like a lifestyle or like a feeling. Like you want to procure some emotion from your customers, okay? And with that being said, like like, like because of that, right? You want custom photos that that are good quality and that 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 look good. Like like people go like, whoa, what is that product? Or whoa, that's a really cool photo. Okay, so you want people to to like pique their curiosity with these types of photos because that's how you're gonna be marketing, okay? Especially if you listen to my advice and build a funnel from Instagram to your website. Instagram, again, is such a visual platform. You need to be on a social media platform and you're gonna use those custom photos to drive traffic to your website to like differentiate your brand, your website, and all that kind of stuff. Just so you can convert more and not be seen as like just another dropshipping site, which is what most of you probably are, especially if you're just getting into it and you don't really know exactly what you're doing. You're just trying to get started, right? And I'm trying to help you guys out so that, boom, your site's just a little bit better than everyone else's, all right? Now, next point. This one, it, 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 it's, a, it's more of a long-term approach, but it's def it definitely plays off, guys, because this is what I did just right from the start. Is I'm trying, you, like, I'm trying to build a brand. Okay, you want to build a quality brand with with your site and your social media presence and whatnot. Okay, you don't want to just be seen as another reseller of you know uh, international goods right from China okay that's not what you want to be seen as okay like for me for like for example for my first store I'll tell you guys how I branded it okay you might be like oh that's really fucking weird but it converted okay and a lot of you guys who've been here from the start know that I was making 30,000 a month from that one website now what you want to do or like what I did right is I branded my site as a curator of luxury goods okay I never said we made the products ourselves I never said we branded it under our own name Okay, so that's the first point that you guys should take into take into heart, right? I never said these are our products. I said we're a curator of luxury, of affordable luxury goods. All right. Now, what did that mean? I sold fashion accessories that I branded as luxurious, right? Because I took my own photos. I had people taking photos of me too, and then I learned how to take my own photos because I wanted to do it myself and save more money. But I branded it as a curator of luxury goods, and because of that. We were able to, you know, have people not assume that, hey, these aren't their products. I've seen it before. Like, we curate products that we think are clientele. Again, it's all about branding, guys. Since we were a luxury company, we had to make everything seem better. Like, we never called our customers customers. We called them clients, all right? We, we, we referred to everyone as, as, as our clients or something, our clientele, everything. Emails, on our site, on our Instagram, all that kind of stuff, they refer to as clientele, okay? Like, we really, we, like... Everything goes into branding guys, and that's what I want to show you like explain to you guys is that you need to brand your site Okay, and on top of that not were we only a luxurious good, but we had we had a whole theme around our site Okay, we were like I, I branded as a gold mine of these luxury goods right and people were essentially mining for for for, for deals or for you know for, for these for these products Okay, we even had a like a nugget of the day like a gold nugget right we had a nugget of the day section where we literally give one Stupid ridiculous discount where we made no money but we did it every single day a different product Product on our site which one allowed us to send an email every single day to our email base without them getting annoyed because it was just an update on hey this is the new product for the deal of the day right that was that okay so like we literally had one a reason to email them every day two we branded it as like we, we were able to brand ourselves as an affordable right luxury discount dealer because not all our goods were like on sale right we had a nugget of the day which is essentially a deal of the day that we sold super cheap which allowed us to band our, brand ourselves as affordable okay but we also sold more expensive products on our site like watches and stuff like that like like we, we had products over a hundred dollars that we that I was selling okay it's just how you brand your website okay that that's that's tip number three guys is just branding okay you want to have like you want to give some life to your brand and not just be seen as another reseller okay the fourth tip is something super tiny super super tiny but literally like Google it or I have a link in the description but remove the powered by Shopify button um, on the on the footer of your website, the bottom of your website, just because like again, you want to brand yourself, you want to be seen as a unique company, like doing your own thing, and it's just it's just like small things, guys. It's super super small factors that go into it, but you really want to be seen as like, or you want to be seen as like your own unique company, okay? And what that means is that you need to make yourself look like your yourself like there's no one you're not doing anything like using any other stuff right if that if that kind of makes sense okay so remove the power by shopify button guys again and there's also that's that's an external link to shopify so it's like why why send traffic away if someone ever clicks that it's just super small things okay next point so guys i got notes here i got notes here for you guys okay make sure the images you use are like yours or taken by yours or the supplier images because Again, like with product, I, I even just touched on this just before, but like with products and everything, like marketing wise, especially if you move into paid ads and shout outs and stuff, you don't want to use supplier images. Like, yes, they convert, but you'll convert a lot better with your own product images, okay? Like, literally, you need to go out and do the work and take pictures yourself, hire a photographer, work with photographers, get images that are unique to your, to, to you, right? No one's taken the images before. Like, like, they're your pictures that you can use to market and brand yourself, like brand your company as unique. Now, the, 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 the I don't even know what tip we're on right now, but, 
The next tip is remarketing, guys. Again, deal of the day, all that kind of stuff was I was able to remarket to users who already visit our site. How do you do that? You have certain apps to capture information or you have the pixel to capture data from your traffic that hits your website. What does that mean, okay? For, especially for a beginner, right? It means you need to download the app like Privy or Beaketing or something like the, the email pop-up apps, okay? So when a customer hits your site, me personally, I, I didn't make it so when they hit the site, a pop-up happened. I made it so when they're about to leave the site, a pop-up happens, I give them a stupid fat discount, like 40 percent okay I'm like hey you can get 40% off right now if you just input your email we'll send you a discount for 40% off okay one that helps you convert almost immediately on, 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 a, on a client that wasn't going to convert, okay? They're about to dip. And then second, it literally, it, you get information, right? You get, you get their email that you can send emails to later down the road and get them to convert. Because a lot of, especially a lot of beginners, they just think, hey, I just send traffic, I get sales, that's that, right? Um, there's a lot more that goes into it. And a lot of it is, hey, I get traffic, some of that traffic converts, some of it goes away, some of it I can get data from or collect to keep and like send them back to the site eventually to get them to convert. Okay, and that's the same thing when it goes with the Facebook pixel you're sending traffic to your website Facebook pixel collects the data later on you can create retargeting campaigns in the Facebook ads manager to actually send that traffic who already visited your site back to your site to convert them Okay, so again guys retargeting is super super important And I mean those literally guys those are a few quick like different tips that I wanted to touch on just about Shopify drop shipping in general guys some of them might not seem very important, but they all play like a huge factor or a big role in drop shipping itself. I think like honestly I, I might even make more videos on this guys once I have like one or once I come up with like more and more tips on you know things that people should know but I think these are like relatively important tips that most beginners won't know right so like that's the video guys it is like guys it's literally it's literally 240 in the morning 240 in the a.m. Um, that I'm recording this video for you guys I'm dead but if you are interested in the one-on-one -on -one mentorship link is down below if you are interested in the monthly mastermind um, for the month of December or for any month, right? You have to fill an application and I accept you or to not accept you. But um, those acceptances will be issued out in three days, four days or whatever. So if you are interested in joining the monthly private mastermind or one-on-one -on -one mentorship, links are in the description. If you want a website made for you, link is in the description. All that stuff is in the description, guys. Um, literally, I, th that's that's that every like uh, the update on the app right for everyone um, that's coming good I don't know when it's gonna be launched, but it's it's, it's, it's coming out soon guys. I'm super tired I am dead right now. Uh, I was up at like 5 30 in the morning, but that's the video guys leave a like if you enjoyed comment if you have questions or want to say something George update blah 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 what oh and subscribe subscribe guys subscribe subscribe to the channel we're lit we're popping um and I'm chilling like literally guys guys my outfit is so icy like ooh okay and I had a bunch of Chipotle earlier okay that besides the point hope you guys enjoy leave a like comment subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video take care fam peace